am off to Macedonia on a bit of an adventure. Um, about six months ago, I was in Kenya, Iten, um, training for two weeks on a camp, and I met this lovely guy called Kush, who is half Italian, half Macedonian, and yeah, we became good mates. And this weekend, I'm off to um, to pace him at a half marathon in Scorpia, in uh, the capital of Macedonia. The race is tomorrow morning. Going to head down to to Luton Airport, jump on a flight. Um, I think it's about three hours, and then uh, meet up with Kush. That's the plan. Safety pins. Never forget the safety pins. Bye bye. So Megs has just dropped me off at Luton Airport. Um, the plan of this trip is to pace Kush and he has asked me to hopefully take him to at least 10k. I'm hoping to go to 15 and if I'm feeling really good I'll just go the whole way. Um, and the pace he's asked for is 308 per kilometer, which is pretty much uh, my PB pace for the half. So we'll see how I feel after last week's 10K. Um, I did a bit of a race last night as well, so my legs won't be super fresh, but I'm looking forward to this trip. So I just managed to find a bite to eat in the airport. Had some pasta and some garlic bread. Plenty of carbs for tomorrow's race. My flight is two hours delayed. I think literally every flight I've got this year has been at least an hour delayed, if not cancelled or rescheduled. So yeah, the normal for me, sitting in airports, waiting for my flight. It was meant to be at 3.15 and now it's not gonna be until 5.30. So yeah, two hours, 15 minutes of delay. But other than that, I'm all good. Gonna head out to, to Macedonia this evening go straight to the hotel and get an early night because the race tomorrow is at 5, well, we've got to be up at 5 a.m. and the race starts at 8 a.m. So, yeah, it's going to be an early start. I'm going to have to prioritise getting some good sleep on the plane. I've brought my, brought my um, sleep mask with me, so hopefully I can just get a couple of hours of nap on the, on the plane. I can see the planes just here, but for some reason they're delayed today, but hopefully we still make it. So I just arrived at the airport here in Skopje. Now I've got to find Kush, who was on a flight from Italy uh, to the same airport. So hopefully I can find him, and then we're going to head to our hotel together. Going to be reunited after our time in Kenya. Feels like I've known Kush for a lot longer than I have. Um, we spent sort of two weeks together, had every single meal together, did every run together. So I feel like I know him a lot better than I do. But yeah, he's a good friend of mine. We stayed in contact, so I'm really looking forward to, to catching up with him. Hey yeah, man, how you doing? Good to see. You. We made it. We did. Yeah. We're here. Finally. Bit delayed, but we made it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey. Look at that. That's snug. Really nice. We can hold hands across the bed. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we just got into our hotel room where we're going to be spending the next few days. Um, I'll go through my race kit because the race is tomorrow morning. It is now uh, half past ten at night, so a little bit later than we planned to because our flights were both delayed. At least one of us wasn't waiting around too long. Um, but yeah, we've got our numbers as, we as well here. Um, Kush's friend picked those up for us today, so shout out to, to them. Um, we're going for a saw singlet, nice red one. I wore this one to run my 5k PB in, so hopefully it's lucky. Um, watch wise, going for the chorus pace three. Um, I've got a couple of Morton gels here. I'll take one before and one during the half marathon. Um, in terms of electrolytes, uh, I'm going for OTE, and I'll probably drink that in the morning. Um, Runderwear. Special Ben is running ones. I got them for Christmas from um, Meg's parents. A little bit embarrassing, but anyway. <laughs> um, and on the feet, I'm going to go for the, a pair of the Metaspeed uh, Sky Plus. I really like these shoes, and uh, they match the singlet, so that is a bonus. And on my feet, I'm going to go for the shoe socks. These ones are specifically designed to match this colorway of shoe, um, which is great. And they're by a company called Shoe S H. Why you? And if you use Ben is running 15, you can get 15% off. Um, and maybe 
if I'm feeling Larry, I'm going to wear these bad boys, the Oakley sunglasses, and I might even go for the cap. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. How's the uh, cushion setup going on over there? Got your race kit ready? Yeah, everything's set. So I'm going to wear my local team t-shirt. Nice. Super. Matching shorts. Yeah, matching shorts. And I'm going to use the Vapor Flies. Which ones? The, the, three. the three? Yeah. Nice. Pure white? Yeah. And I'm going to use as well a cap. A cap, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't know, I don't know yet if I'm going to wear sunglasses because they are pretty heavy. What is this? Uh, this is for to do the massage. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it looks painful. Yeah, it's, it's like a torture device. Yeah, yeah, it looks painful, but you know, it's working. Nice, okay, sweet. All ready to go. I need to set mine out like this as well, so it's not on the bed. It's now 11.30 at night. We're just about to hit the sack, a little bit later than we planned, but we just went up to the restaurant in the hotel and had a couple of margarita pizzas, which was very nice. Completely forgot to film it. Um, just engulfed those. Keen to get them Eaten before we go to bed, but yeah, I'm gonna head off to sleep now, and uh, tomorrow is race day, so yeah, should be good fun. <laughs> so we just got down to the start line. It's about, what time is it? An hour and 10 minutes until the race starts. Start line's just over here in front of the uh, parliament building. I'm gonna run through, do we run through the arch or? Yeah, uh, is that at the end? Arch, yeah. Nice. And this morning there is a 5K, a half marathon, and a marathon all starting at the same spot as you can see on that sign. Start line for 21 and 42K. So we might have some marathon runners to run with as well. And here we have the finish line. Hopefully, number one. And number two, hey? Crossing the finish line. Kush followed by Ben. <laughs> So we just dropped our bags off at the warm-up, at the warm-up at the start, and we're going for a bit of a warm-up. Uh, just a couple of kilometers. We have 40 minutes until the race starts, but yeah, lovely morning for it. Pretty good conditions. Yeah. Not too hot, not too windy, so yeah, it's gonna be good. We're back. We're back, baby. <laughs> down to the start line with 15 minutes to go. It's just behind me here and on this side, to the other side of the road, there's a 5k race happening at the same time as the half and full marathon. So half the people are going to go in this direction and half the people are going to go in that direction, which sounds a bit crazy, but should be good. Really looking forward to it. Kush is just getting his shoes tightened up and then we're going to be ready to go.
really fast. It wasn't too hot today as well, so it's really enjoyable. And the marathon boys are even quicker today, so yeah, it's a great course. Really. Imagine that, the marathon boys are even quicker than the half marathon. Yeah. It's the first time here. Yeah, first time in Macedonia. Uh, my friend Kush is from Macedonia. He just finished now. He's over there. I hope that you will view a good video from this. Of course, yeah. I, I really hope. Yeah, you're because... on the camera now. Oh, I'm on the camera. Hello, fans. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, subscribe this video because Ben Felton is the winner of the half marathon. Please and Skopje, Marvel Ray. Yeah, well. And now, our guest from Great Britain, Ben Felton. Bon appetit, so. so we just got back from the half marathon. Here's my ridiculous trophy that I picked up on the podium. Still can't quite believe that I ended up winning it. Basically, um, as I was running, there was three guys in front of me that were, were ahead of me in the race. So I had no idea when I came into the finishing tunnel that there was going to be a tape. Because it turns out the guys who were up the road uh, in front of me were actually running the full marathon, which took place at the same time as the half marathon. But I've got Kush here. How did you get on today, mate? Yeah, it was really hard, but yeah, I'm glad that I finished at least. Yeah, so, yeah you were with I'm me happy. until uh, 3k and then I ran away from you, so uh, sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> no, no worries at all. I'm really happy that uh, you won the race, because yeah. Yeah, we, we have something to talk about. For and sure. I'm, yeah. And how is the the leg? Yeah, right now it's, uh, it's good, but uh, during the race it was really painful, so... Yeah, yeah. you had to slow down you a bit. To slow down and maybe yeah. take a rest for a week or yeah. something like that. And I just realized we're, we're standing here in yeah. our robes. <laughs> we're just about to go to the sauna in the gym, in the hotel. So um, yeah, we're gonna go chill out, put our feet in the, in the ice plunge, get some recovery started. But I'll, tell you, I'll talk you through how the race went in a bit more detail a bit later on. What have we got here then, Kush? So the, these are chebab chip, uh -huh. so Hamid. Yeah. Chebab, we call it, in Albania, with grosh, which is beans. Baked, like baked beans? Beans, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Then pepperoni, and I think it's missing something. Something is coming. Nice. Look at that. Meat and baked beans, eh? Beautiful. So we just finished dinner and we've come for a little walk up to the castle here in Macedonia in Skopje and check this view out. Not bad, eh? You can really see the air pollution in the air there. Um, apparently this area has some of the worst air pollution in the, in the world. Didn't know that, but I do now. Nice view, huh? Oh yeah, this is what a proper celebration looks like. Have some of that. So we just got back to our hotel room after a nice evening. We went for some uh, traditional um, Macedonian food. Nearly forgot what country I was in then. And then we went to like a dessert place afterwards. Kush is just chilling out next to me. Yeah. And um, yeah, lovely evening. Had a little walk around the old town. And uh, yeah, lovely place. Really would recommend visiting. Um, I thought I'd just talk you through how the race went in a little bit more detail. So the first sort of uh, 5k of the race, me and uh, Kush were up the front and things were going pretty well. Um, we got joined by the lead Kenyan runner who was doing the marathon. He went on to run uh, 2 hours and 18 minutes. So I think he slowed down a little bit in the second half, but it did get a little bit warm. So I think they went through the half marathon in like 66 minutes. And then they ended up, uh, the winner ended up running uh, 2 hours 18. Um, after about 10k, I decided to take my foot off the gas. I still uh, ran pretty hard towards the finish, but I decided that after 10k there, was, there wasn't really much point in me pushing it because I wasn't here to necessarily race the half marathon and try and get a PB and I knew a PB wasn't really going to be on. Um, I'm actually doing the Oxford half marathon in two weeks time so that will be more of a, a focus for me in terms of running as fast as I possibly can so today I wanted to just take it a little bit easy and I made that decision after 10k 
just to take my foot off the gas a little bit. So I went from running like uh, 3.12s per kilometer to around 3.22 per kilometer. So more of my uh, marathon effort. A few guys passed me in the race. So I ended up um, being in fourth place uh, or I thought I was in fourth place. Uh, coming into the finish but it turns out the three guys that were in front of me were all doing the full marathon so even though they were like a minute in front of me going through the half marathon split because I was the only athlete of the front four that was doing the half marathon I ended up winning the half marathon and the other guys went on to do another lap so yeah really good race I was pleased to break the the tape I literally had no idea that I was gonna win it until like 100 200 meters to go when I saw the tape and even then I thought maybe they just put the tape out for the top three or something like that so I, I ran through the line and they were like you won I was like wicked so yeah I'm not gonna complain about winning a half marathon I'll take that every day and I think it's the first time I've ever ran through the tape of a, a race which was pretty cool feeling um, and I ran 69 minutes and 17 seconds, so about two minutes and two seconds off my PB that I ran this time last year in uh, Copenhagen. So yeah, overall pretty pleased with the day. It was really fun to, to meet some uh, people from Macedonia that listened to both the podcast and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't have thought anyone from from Macedonia would be following me here on YouTube, but apparently they do. So yeah, it was nice to meet some people. Um, overall had a really good day. Big shout out to Kush. Hope yeah, the injury yeah. uh, sorts itself out soon, bro. Yeah, and you can get so. back to, to running as fast as you can. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, had a great day. Thanks for inviting me. But uh, welcome. yeah, anything to add? Well, I'm just happy that I at least I ended the race and yeah. you won it. Yeah, exa yeah that's, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It was nice. not bad. And we just watched the uh, the race on the television. It was live on uh, Macedonia TV. We're on the telly. And then they just did a replay this evening. So we, we sat and watched it and we were on telly for a good like 10 well, minutes. Yeah. yeah, so it was good. But um, yeah, that's it for this little vlog. Um, pacing a half marathon, pacing in uh, Macedonia. Here's the medal, got the trophy over there. Um, gonna have fun trying to get that back to the UK because I only brought hand luggage, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire. I'll see you again see soon. That's it.